Mohahaha! Happy Halloween, fellow Decepticons! Sam Blaster1987 here with another McFarlane Toys Block S19 scene review. Today I will be looking at Necron, the mega fake that also comes separate from a line in his own higher price point. This review will be dedicated to my fellow reviewer Death Reviews, who I've been talking to through social media recently. As you can see, Necron is a very well detailed and well painted mega fake based on the design from the comic books, complete with his uh, scythe, which is also a black item core power battery. As a mega fake, he's got pretty much the same level of articulation as a normal McFarlane figure, if not slightly more so. And I'll go over articulation in just a moment, but first, for size comparison, here he is next to the 7 inch Black Lantern Batman from the main Builder figure wave. So you can see he's quite a bit taller. And here he is with a Builder figure Atrocitus from the completed Builder figure wave. Again, still taller than Atrocitus. And finally, for a Hasbro size comparison, Age of Apocalypse Cyclops from the Colossus Wave. Necron, like all main DC Multiverse McFarlane figures, comes with both the circular display stand with a peg and a character card. I don't have the card on me right now, but I do have a display stand which I'll be using in a moment. Now, as I warned in the Firestorm review, the pegs on these platforms can sometimes break if you store them incorrectly while lodged at the foot of a figure you're displaying with them. So, be warned on that one. But, without further ado, articulation. There's a ball jointed neck that's got its own so sort of smaller semi ball joint at the base for even more range of possibility. Then you've got Absolutely nothing in the mid torso because of the way the heavy rubber sculpting of the outfit has uh, kind of sabotaged that. Plus, also the open chest detail with the exposed heart kind of renders a yeah, ab crunch unusable anyway. Then you got the usual standard McFarlane faux ratcheted butterfly joint universal shoulders with a bicep swivel that sometimes gets stuck because it's also part of a shoulder joint. Then you've got the usual McFarlane faux ratcheted double elbow. The left one on my copy is slightly loose because I got this guy second hand on eBay. Then you've got the usual universal wrist movement as well. Again, slightly ratcheted because, you know, mega figs are bigger and heavier and need more joint stability. Then at the waist level, you've got universal hips as per the usual McFarlane toy engineering. Again, slightly disrupted by the thick rubber layering of the outfit, much like with Spawn's cape and some of the other McFarlane figures I've reviewed lately. There is a bit of a fight swivel in there, but it's disrupted by the heavy layering of the rubber on the outer outfit skirt, so bear with me on that one. Then you've got the usual McFarlane faux ratchet double knees, and a universal ankle tilt and a toe hinge as well. So, as with all McFarlane figures, Necron has a port on both heels with which to use the display stand like so to keep him stable in more dynamic poses with the big old uh, scythe landing core weapon like so. So, that more or less concludes my review of McFarlane Toys Necron from the Blackest Nightwave. I have been Soundblaster1987. Thanks again for watching, and my next review will be the figurized Master Grade 9.5 inch Kamen Rider Double Cyclone Joker model kit. Till then, till all, I'm on. More! Ah, 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 ah.